In Hungary, there is a controversial crackdown on migrants. As expected, the country has sealed its border with Serbia, and that's leaving hundreds of refugees in limbo. Kay Parkinson reports from Roska along the now disputed border. A few kilometers from the border, we meet a group of refugees and ask them where they're going. To get in Hungary, and then we will go to uh, Austria, and then we will go to Germany. Hungary has said that anyone that crosses its border now illegally could be arrested or deported. Are you worried? I don't worry. I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. I will try. Undeterred by Hungary's harsh new legislation, they continue on their journey. The group is large, a few dozen at least, and more people keep joining. Most are from Syria. Some are traveling alone or with friends they've met along the way. Others are families, many with children too young to understand. But their parents do. <coughs> Nasiba is from Damascus. She tells me why she is making this journey. I lost my home. My children and I don't have anywhere to live anymore. We lost our jobs. We lost our money. We have nothing left. There is nothing in Syria. The gateway to the European Union is now just a few metres ahead, but the route is blocked. They're disappointed, frustrated. They've reached the finishing line, but they got here too late. They're discussing their options, wondering which way to go next. They decide to stick together and try one of the official border crossings. At this stage, they are short on options. Hungary says people can seek asylum, although it's unlikely they'd get it. And anyone trying to sneak through could face jail, although that doesn't stop them looking for weak points in the fence. This group of young men are all from Syria. They've trekked for six days now and are determined to make it to the EU. But Hungary is determined to stop them. It's a battle of wills that Hungary is currently winning. Like many hundreds of others, they end up stranded in no man's land. Their European dream is so close, but still out of their reach. Kate Parkinson, CCTV, on the Serbian-Hungary border.